How's it going, everyone? Matt Senator here, ready to show you around the LEGO Mindstorm Pinball Machine. Now, first, I'm going to start with the design. Then, I'm going to test the pinball machine out. First, let's start with the design. Over here is the LEGO Mindstorm's NXT brick. This is mounted on, on a beam, which is connected to these rods, which holds it steady. Over here is the color sensor. The color sensor detects whenever the ball is in place. When it detects that the ball is in place, these or it makes these orange teeth spin around. Underneath these rods is the motor which powers the gears which power the which move the orange teeth. Out over here, underneath this ro underneath these rods is a motor which powers which powers this the thing that hits the ball on the left side. On the right side, it's the same thing. There's a motor underneath here, which powers the which powers the right side. On the left side over here, we have a touch sensor. This touch sensor, once when it's pressed, sends a signal to the NXT to move the to move the motor, the left motor up and down. When the right one is pushed, it sends a signal to the NXT to move the motor up up and up and down, just like the left. Over here's the ball shoot. When this is held with an elastic to keep it sturdy. When, when it's pressed, it shoots the ball out just like a real pinball machine. This can hold up to three balls. On the top of the screen, when, it's turned, when it is turned on, it displays this, your, your score and the time. Over here is basically where the, it basically catches the balls for you. So when it goes under, when it gets by it, it catches it so it doesn't go all over the place. Sometimes, though, the only problem I've had with this is sometimes, you'll see it when I demonstrate it, it gets stuck right here, like where the, um, where, where the two beams meet. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show you the demonstration. Let's turn it on first. Okay, so at the very beginning of the program, it tests to make sure everything's working. On the screen, it, dis it's, it, on the screen, it displays... Press the end. Press enter to start. So that's what I'm going to do right now, which is the orange button. All right, here we go. Let's release it. So right now, the color sensor does not detect any balls. It has to go through the color sensor. When it sort of detects it, it moves fast. It moves slow. But when it can clearly see the ball, it moves faster. Now up on the screen, it shows the time and the score. See, sometimes this doesn't really catch it because it goes over like. It goes over like that, but that's okay. It doesn't go too far. Now, let's shoot the blue one. The only another problem I would have had with this is sometimes when you shoot the ball out, it goes too far. And it's a little bit too powerful. So, so it goes too fast and it goes over the actual thing. See, there, there was the other problem. Sometimes you sort of tilt it a little bit because it gets stuck. There we go. See, it doesn't always catch it. It goes right by it. All right, let's try one more time. Now, every time you hear that noise, that noise, it means that oh, it means that the ball that 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 points are added to your score. See, that's what I mean. How it goes too fast and too powerful. All right, let's try one more time. So you basically get the I get the main idea of the of the robot. This is Matt Senator here, signing off with the Lego Mindstorms pinball machine. Remember to like and subscribe. Oh, and watch my other videos. I have a Lego Mindstorms Minecuber video also. Remember to like and subscribe, Matt Senator.